barely, barely see them sticking out. Hi, I'm Frank Willem, host of Find Your Outdoors. And I'm Brittany Willem, co-host of Find Your Outdoors. If you've watched Find Your Outdoors over the last three or four seasons, you've seen we've been involved with Kids Outdoors on a number of our shows. To see the impact that it had, not only on Christian, but some of the other kids that we've gotten to encounter over the years, it's just, it's a, it's a feeling that you just, you can't explain. As we were more involved with Kids Outdoors and really fully understood the mission and the value of what Rick and Carol do for all these kids that are disabled with special needs, we began to feel like they needed their own show. It's gonna be something special. So stick with us because this is Outdoor Dreamers. The Kids Outdoors crew awaits the arrival of Austin Irvin for a fallow deer and elk hunt. We came back for redemption this afternoon and we shot a big old cow elk and we just waited and given it a few minutes and we to go out there and see if we can locate it. Carol and Rick just finished up their annual banquet and weekend group hunt. We joined Carrot at Soggy Bottom Lodge as he hunted fallow deer. Garrett was also able to tag a trophy fallow buck. Then Nate Jacobs dropped his massive 192 inch whitetail buck. Each banquet, Kids Outdoors awards one hunter with the Big Buck Trophy for the weekend. We head south to warmer weather, where we join Rick and Carol in the Florida Keys at Island Dolphin Care. She loves Fiji. Now she had squirt and Fiji this yeah. year, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she had to eat lettuce too. So. She's been so excited about everything. Even when she found out she was coming, she oh got so gosh. excited. We started hearing Fiji, Fiji. <laughs> Big bass out on the line. Riding around the ranch and her side by side with chasing bugs and calling ducks. Dreaming about another day out in between the pines. Running through the holler. Soggy bottom, you want a trophy white till I tell you Sunday got him. Watch the sunset on the porch, you're thinking I'll forever be an outdoor dreaming. You're watching Outdoor Dreamers. Outdoor Dreamers is presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge. There's world class hunting outfitters. Then there's Soggy Bottom Lodge. Whether you're dreaming about a 200 inch monster whitetail, a trophy exotic fallow deer, hearing the bugle of a massive bull elk, chasing quail and pheasant through the pines, or targeting your personal best largemouth bass, Soggy Bottom Lodge pairs your dream outdoor adventure with five star resort style accommodations. There's world class hunting lodges. Then there's Soggy Bottom Lodge. Book your dream adventure today at SoggyBottomLodge.com. This week on Outdoor Dreamers, we head down to South Mississippi where we join Doc Gaddy and TJ Neal at Gaddy Farms. Gaddy Farms is a high fence outfitter in West Harrison County on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. This exotic outfitter is known for producing trophy red stag, big fallow deer, and monster axis bucks. Hi guys, TJ Neal. I'm back here at Gaddy Farms. We got a special kid coming in, Copeland. And Kids Outdoors, they're coming down with him, and he's going to have a chance to shoot a big axis buck with us. And I'm so excited about this hunt. Copeland has just arrived with Rick and Carol. Copeland is hoping to tag a big axis buck with an airbow. We have the Benjamin Pioneer airbow, and it's going to be on the apparatus for Copeland to use to shoot to help him shoot the airbow. So to help him practice that, because we're going to be shooting out of a customized shooting house, we take him to the back side of the house where Doc has built this nice little platform. We get set up and let him start taking some practice shots with it. You shoot that black spot? Yes, sir. Right there? Yes, sir. All right, let's load it up then. You got enough to enough air in it to load it? I got over 2,000 in it. In the first shot with the apparatus, he was dead on. You couldn't ask no better. You just feel for your... All right, you're ready to shoot now. scared you, didn't it? No one. Yeah, it did, because mm -hmm. you jumped. <laughs> Once we got the airbow dialed in for him, and he felt comfortable, and we all knew he could make the shot, we went out to the blind. When we come back, Copeland and the crew head out to the stand for the first morning hunt. We got a bunch of axes out here at Gaddy Farms. We got two different herds. So we finally got a good buck pattern that I feel Cope would have a good hunt on. And there's a couple different bugs that they came in and presented an opportunity he could take a shot. Stay tuned. 
on Outdoor Dreamers. There's world-class hunting outfitters, then there's Soggy Bottom Lodge. Whether you're dreaming about a 200-inch monster whitetail, a trophy exotic fallow deer, hearing the bugle of a massive bull elk, chasing quail and pheasant through the pines, or targeting your personal best largemouth bass, Soggy Bottom Lodge pairs your dream outdoor adventure with five-star resort-style accommodations. There's world-class hunting lodges, then there's Soggy Bottom Lodge. Book your dream adventure today at SoggyBottomLodge.com. Copeland has just arrived at Gaddy Farms in South Mississippi. He sided in his airboat with Dr. Don Gaddy and Rick, and now they head up to the shooting house for the first morning hunt. We're having a great morning. There's some fallow feeding through. There's a lot of movement. We got a bunch of axes out here at Yeti Farms. We got two different herds. So we finally got a good buck pattern that I feel Cope would have a good hunt on. And there's a couple different bucks that they came in and presented an opportunity he could take a shot. I tell you, I enjoy watching these kids try to learn how to, how to hunt. And, and I probably enjoyed the morning hunt, even though we didn't even get to see the animals that we were looking for. We got to get up early in the morning, get out in a tree stand and see nature. Saw a lot of deer, we just didn't see the ones that we were looking for. But that's what hunting is about. And these kids need to understand that it's more about the experience of getting outside and, and seeing all of nature and all that God offers to us. Um, but like most axes do, and if anybody's ever hunted axes, they know they're very weary. They know they're changing their environments, and they're usually the last to come in. That buck never presented himself, but we had red stag moving around us. We had the fallow and a couple other animals. So this morning when we got here, we kind of formulated the plan. We're going to go out to the stand, put some corn out, and the stag and fallow, we knew they were going to be there, but we were expecting the axes to uh, push those fallow and stag out, but unfortunately that never happened. I'm not sure the axes knew that we were out there putting the corn out. I don't know that they ever saw us, so fortunately they never came in. So we came back and formulated plan B. They saw a deer, but just didn't see the axes buck that morning. So we had to re get another game plan and set up for an evening set up. Well, I want you to get ready. Reach up and push the safety off don't shoot. Outdoor Dreamers. Outdoor Dreamers is presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge. We're at Gaddy Farms in South Mississippi. Copeland is on a hunt for a trophy axis deer. He sided in his airboat with Dr. Don Gaddy and Rick. Once we got the airboat dialed in for him and he felt comfortable and we all knew he could make the shot, we went out to the blind. We got a bunch of axes out here at Daddy Farms. We got two different herds, and there's a couple different bucks that they came in and presented an opportunity he could take a shot. But like most axes do, and if anybody's ever hunted axes, they know they're very weary. They know they're changing their environments, and they're usually the last to come in. They saw a deer, but just didn't see the axes buck that morning. So we had to re get another game plan and set up for an evening set up. I mix fires. I'm Copeland Spires. And I'm Dan Spires. And we're from Prattville, Alabama. We were introduced to Rick and Carol on uh, the life hunt through Boatmasters. <laughs> After getting to know them, we really loved them a lot. <laughs> Copeland was born at 26 weeks gestation. He weighed one pound and five ounces. He spent the first 17 and a half months of his life in a hospital. Um, has had multiple um, surgical procedures done, had a tracheostomy. Um, oh, he was connected to a ventilator and still is um, for a portion of the day. Um, he's completely fed through a G-tube. Um, for the most part, 
daily life is pretty typical, except for he um, runs the risk of becoming very short of breath very quickly. So his endurance is a lot less than most kids his age. Copeland is very outgoing. He never meets a stranger and pretty much gets in everybody's heart he meets. So being Copeland's big brother, it's hard to say it's not an honor. Like uh, his parents were saying, it's, he's, uh, he's always happy, he's always, he's going 90 to nothing every, everywhere he goes. And it's just, he brings so much joy to other people just seeing that smile on his face. Always has a smile on his face, never complains. Um, I guess about a year and a half ago, we went through about 12 months where he had multiple spontaneous pneumothorax which is a collapsed lung, <clears throat> um, probably one a month for about 12 months. And he would literally be blue, not breathing well at all, multiple hospitalizations, multiple surgeries. And if you ask Cope, how are you doing? I'm good. That is always his answer. He is always good. So to have been through everything he's been through, the kid never complains at all. We hunted these deer all day long, trying to get Copeland on them. And the worst thing at South Mississippi, the thunderstorms rolled in. And I was down and determined to get Copeland a deer. He drove six hours, came a long way. We're gonna get him a deer one way or another. So we came back and formulated plan B. The ultimate goal with Kids Outdoors is that the kids harvest their dream animal. I talked over the game plan with Dr. Gaddy and we both felt that our best chance with the heavy thunderstorms and the heavy rain is to set him up in the maintenance garage and pour a bunch of corn out in front and hopefully an axis comes by cruising looking for a little evening feed. You're watching Outdoor Dreamers. Outdoor Dreamers is presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge. We're at Gaddy Farms in South Mississippi. Copeland is on a hunt for a trophy axis deer. The ultimate goal with Kids Outdoors is that the kids harvest their dream animal. We hunted these deer all day long, trying to get Copeland on them. And the worst thing at South Mississippi, the thunderstorms rolled in. I talked over the game plan with Dr. Gaddy, and we both felt that our best chance with the heavy thunderstorms and the heavy rain is to set him up in the maintenance garage and pour a bunch of corn out in front and hopefully an axis comes by cruising looking for a little evening feed. We set it up. I knew where these axis deer were coming by the old maintenance building. We pour out a bunch of corn and get the other deer coming in. When the other deer start moving in, the axes slowly make their way out. After a long morning sit, TJ and Doc have set Copeland up under the maintenance garage to get out of the South Mississippi heavy rain. As we're set up in the maintenance barn, we're sitting there watching the fallow deer slowly coming in, light, light drizzle, and we're just watching. And I happen to look out to the left of the door and I caught some horns coming through the dog kennels out there in the field. And I look, I said, Cope, I said, there's one of the hitless bucks coming in, buddy. Man, his split, his face just lit up with excitement and it worked out just like we wanted it to. The axes started working their way towards us as the fallow came in to eat. And he had the apparatus and we had the big screen on there so we could help him out, help him aim true with that airbow. And it just all came together. The buck came in within 20 yards and he made a great shot on the buck.
we finally got the axis. So all together, pretty successful hunt. Uh, that that was the best part of today's hunt. Uh, of course, you know, finally getting the animal and and the excitement in in uh, Copeland's face and his smiles coming out of that. That's that's always a good part of our hunts. And then you seen the deer coming up, was you excited? I was excited. Did your heart start racing? Yeah. yeah Did you good. think we were going to get to kill that big thing? Yeah. I think it's just a time to um, do something that's a little normal. Um, nobody here judges Copeland's ability to do anything. Doesn't matter, we have to take a suction machine with us or a ventilator with us. Um, everybody's just very accommodating and lets him just be as typical as possible. We trailed the buck for a while. We were all high five and excited. Copeland was pumped, I was pumped. We were finally able to get on the Axis deer and to see Copeland's face when he finally got to hold that deer horns in his hand that he worked so hard for, that was enough for anybody at that moment. You're watching Outdoor Dreamers. Outdoor Dreamers is presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge. There's world-class hunting outfitters, then there's Soggy Bottom Lodge. Whether you're dreaming about a 200-inch monster whitetail, a trophy exotic fallow deer, hearing the bugle of a massive bull elk, chasing quail and pheasant through the pines, or targeting your personal best largemouth bass, Soggy Bottom Lodge pairs your dream outdoor adventure with five-star resort-style accommodations. There's world-class hunting lodges, then there's Soggy Bottom Lodge. Book your dream adventure today at SoggyBottomLodge.com. You're watching Outdoor Dreamers. Outdoor Dreamers is presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge. Copeland has just shot a big axis deer at Gaddy Farms in South Mississippi. Went out this morning, expecting probably to, you know, at least see an axis, whatever. Seen as uh, the fallow and the stags come in and just no luck with the axis. And then later this afternoon, what we thought was going to kind of be a setup and it was kind of just thrown together because they come in kind of unexpected and Cope made a decent hit on a good axis and what, three, four hours later, we finally got the axis. We trailed the buck for a while. We were all high five and excited. Copeland was pumped, I was pumped. We were finally able to get on the Axis deer and to see Copeland's face when he finally got to hold that deer horns in his hand that he worked so hard for, that was enough for anybody at that moment. But really the, the true highlight of the day was when he pulled that trigger. It, I know it was very exciting for him, but it just, it meant a lot to a lot of people. Um. We, we've, in the past, done quite a few hunts for kids outdoors, but um, we keep expanding that. We keep adding different kinds of animals and different kinds of hunts. Um, we also do some fishing expeditions, fishing tournaments for kids outdoors, and, and that's a real good thing here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Our Mississippi Gulf Coast chapter sponsors a lot of these fishing events, and. Uh, I'm just glad to be part of that. We we do have uh, some hunts. We've already hunted with kids for uh, red stag and axis deer and fallow deer, and we've had some other uh, ram hunts and even a pig hunt. So we're we're branching out into different things. It was just a, it's truly a blessing um, to be able to work with these kids and help them with their dreams. And that axis was a beautiful animal to harvest, a great mature axis buck to take. I came about uh, Rick and Carol kind of on accident and ever since we've met our friendship has continued to grow. Uh, Rick and Carol are two great people that have dedicated their life to kids outdoors and I'm just glad to be part of what they've been doing and, and we have trying to spread it out to Mississippi and They've been spreading it out to Alabama and Florida and Georgia and Tennessee, and, and so they're they're growing it all the time. We're just a, a part of that. You know, Kids Outdoors is such an incredible organization. They do so much for so many kids and for the families of those kids. They get to 
come out and experience some things that they would otherwise have no chance of being able to do. And I just love being part of it. I enjoy going out there and seeing the smiles on their faces and, and kids outdoors is something I'm willing to keep working with for a long time. Mr. Rick and Carol of Kids Outdoors, thank you so much for coming out to Gaddy Farms. We can't wait for y'all to come back out and we have more adventures with more kids. You're watching Outdoor Dreamers. Outdoor Dreamers is presented by Soggy Bottom Lodge. Big bass out on the line. Riding around the ranch and her side by side. We're chasing bugs and calling ducks. Dreaming about another day out in between the pines. Running through the hollow in the soggy bottom. You want a trophy white till I tell you, son, they got them. Watching the sunset on the porch, you're thinking, I'll fly.